You go on the internet and your browser pages get swamped with ads. So you need a good ad blocker. One of the best ad blockers you can get is AdGuard. This is how to get and use AdGuard. First, where to get AdGuard? Well, in Microsoft Edge, you can go to Extensions, Manage Extensions, and then now to get extensions for Microsoft Edge. And in here you can do a search for AdGuard. Or you can go to this site and install it from here. I'll put a link for this in the description below and links for Firefox and Chrome AdGuard extensions in the description below too. In this you'll find information about AdGuard, uh, what AdGuard does, blocks all ads, speeds up page, lo page loading, protects your privacy, blocks many spyware, adware, and dialer installers, protects you from malware and phishing. And then there are some questions and answers you can take a look at and some reviews. And I already have it installed on my browser, but if I didn't, uh, I would hit this button to install it. When I ask for people to like and subscribe, I try to add a little humor. But I've been told my humor is silly and stupid. My wife isn't usually wrong about anything, but this time she is wrong. So please, like and subscribe. Okie dokie, Smokey. I guess that was kind of silly and stupid. <laughs> She's right again. After you've installed AdGuard on your browser, you'll have this icon in the browser and this number shows how many ads were blocked in the website. If you click on the icon, you'll get the window for AdGuard. This will check for any filter upgrades or updates. You can pause protection with this and this is to get to the settings. And once again, this shows how many ads were blocked. This is the total number of ads that were blocked since it was installed. You can turn AdGuard off and on with this. Actions or statistics. Block ads on this website. Uh, open filtering log. Report an issue and check website security. And in here we see that msn.com is a safe website. You may be wondering what are filters? Well, this site gives a pretty good explanation and I'll put a link for this in the description below. And uh, it tells you that there are a set of rules that uh, will filter out certain banners, pop-ups, trackers, and it could be based on languages too. And then there's more information that you can take a look at down below. Let's take a look at settings in AdGuard. Uh, first, there's general, theme, uh, block search ads and website self-promotion, phishing, malware protection, uh, activate the most appropriate filters automatically, auto, auto update filters, export and import settings. Okay filters and you can have a group of different things that you can turn off and on on here uh, add blocking privacy social widgets annoyances security other language specific custom stealth mode a number of things there general block trackers remove tracker perimeters Hide your search queries. Send website signals not to track you. Cookies. Self-destruction of third-party cookies. Self-destruction of first-party cookies. And not recommended. Yeah. 
miscellaneous, hide referral from third party parties, disable web RTCs. Okay. Allow list, user rules, additional settings. Use optimize filters, invert allow list, help with the development of ad guard filters. Uh, indicate the number of blocked ads in the ad guard extension icon. Yep. Add ad guard item to the browser's contacts menu. Yep. Show information on the ad guard full version. Uh -huh. Notify about extension updates. Open filtering log, clear statistics, reset settings, and about. Okay. A word about settings. If you really don't want to dabble with them, no problem. The default settings work just fine. I've not changed any of the default settings on my install, and AdGuard has worked really well for me. That was AdGuard. A really great ad blocker. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time. Take care.